Hello there, so as I said in yesterday's video, there is a big change coming to the LEGO City. In fact, it's already came to the LEGO City because I was working on it yesterday and it's a complete overhaul. Well, not a complete overhaul, but what I would consider to be a complete overhaul of the design. As you can see, they're already laid out in a different formation to what they were. We will be taking a closer look at that in a second and I'll have some older images to refresh your memory on screen. But I wasn't happy with how the city was initially laid out. We had a tower of buildings on the left that, especially from this angle, you couldn't really see it all. I mean, you probably see the side of one of the buildings, but especially where we had that gap in the front for the porch of the cab, we didn't really have anything visible from up here. And then the road went all the way to the back. You could see the wall. It didn't look as great. And I think this layout is going to be the perfect layout. I might change my mind and rearrange it in a few months time. But that is a problem for later on. Right now I'm very happy with how it is. So let's take a look at the brand new layout for the Lego City. Also I know I was meant to be building the shawarma restaurant. There's a change that I'm going to mention later for it. And I don't know if I'll still be going ahead with it. I still want to build it on the ground floor. So I'll have to jumble up the floors a bit. But that is again something that I'll address later on in the video. So I hope you enjoy. So for the first time, hello there and welcome to a brand new LEGO City layout. Now, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. The biggest thing that I have changed is this front bit here. As you can see, the Friends Tower, still the Friends Tower, the Lego Tower, still the Lego Tower. The Animal Tower, I'm not incredibly happy with. And I mean, I like what's there already. I definitely like the rooftop. I might actually add that as a side part. I've seen a Lego build, which is one of the creator builds, I believe, which has the greenhouse as the side of the house. And I might build that coming off of an apartment bit, perhaps even for the top floor. I think that would look really cool. So. That is up to change. I might just slide that across and build a little house to the left. The fish tank, I mean, it's not doing anyone harm there, but I do want to build some sort of, not pet store, but like a pet groomers, which I think would be really cool above the aquarium. The aquarium still looks really cool. We've got the tunnel that goes between both the dolphins, seals, and I think the other side is the sharks, perhaps even another dolphin. So I'm still quite happy with that. I've added the floodlights to the top because they didn't really fit in this street layout. But something that I have changed and that I'm very, very happy with is the street lamps here, which I'll show you an image of what they were before. I think I took an image of before and after, and I'm very happy with the way these turned out. Now, I only had enough pieces to make one of them in the pure white. You can see there's a few gray bits on all of the others, so I will need to order them when I order my next brick link or brick out order or wherever I'm getting Lego from. Perhaps they're on the pad wall at some point as well. That would be very, very nice. But there is a few big orders coming up in May. I've got a secret project that is in early days now, so I don't want to give too much away, but definitely stay tuned for that. A big Star Wars project that hopefully will just consume the month of May and I'm really excited to get into work on that. So there's a sneak peek into the future of what's happening. It does mean I've had to remove most of the cars and vehicles because originally what we had was a, in fact there wasn't road here, it was a straight road here so we've still got that and then that would come off towards this way and there'd be another two road squares there whereas all we've really got is an extra half a road. So we've actually got rid of one and a half of these 16 by 16 or three of these eight by 16 spots for the road. And it does mean I haven't been able to customize the road as much. It's much more modular. So if I wanted to say pop out this piece, all I had to do is disconnect the road pieces and then it's ready to pop out in comparison to trying to move them all around like a jigsaw puzzle and of course i gotta be careful of the bikes because i don't think i will be studying down these bikes i've got a few bicycles that i just knocked over over there which i do want to build a nice bike rack for now i'm unsure what will be over on the left here i really did like the buildings covering this wall so what i might do sorry for that quick transition i know my stabilization really doesn't like that but i've got the tunnel to the right here it's quite a beefy tunnel. I mean, we've got two studs spare out the front and I've even double studded the back of it. So what I'll probably do is remove two studs from the front and a stud from the back. 
have this three studs wide and going up the front. I'm not sure if I've got any more Lego base plates to cut down. I know this gray base plate that's holding my minifigures is my old one or my brother's old one. And it was very dirty, so I didn't mind cutting that down to fit next to a full 48 by 48. And by the way, once again, we just got to love all the minifigures there on their podiums. That is one massive school photo, if you know what I'm talking about. But what I'll probably do is try and get some sort of base plate I can cut down, get three studs by 48 on this side, and then move the other three studs to this side. That will enable me to build three studs worth of a front of a building. Of course, we're not going to get an interior, and it does mean I might have to reduce the lo-fi girl building, and perhaps that couldn't be included in one of. In fact, lo-fi girl could even replace Emmett up there with the tunes on, building Lego. That could be quite a nice shout. I just have to switch up some of the colours. But they're all projects for the future. I do definitely want to work on that pet store. The I guess it's more of a vet store than a pet store. And we do have the Avengers Schwarmer place, which I think does work better on the bottom. I'll still be building a porch for this. And of course, we've got so much room, so the bikes will probably be closer to the front here. Of course, we've got that new Venom poly bag. That'll also be changing. I've got a video idea for that coming very soon. But the Avengers Schwarmer place just looks so much better on the ground. It's more open. I can have the table increasing out. But what that also means is if I move the subway to the top, keep the double doors, I could probably have some sort of porch, some stairs coming down the side, depending on what the next building is. But I'm going to ask you for your input for that in just a moment. And have a porch for this where I can still get some more tables and chairs and just cover the bottom of the shawarma place on the ground floor. Of course, we've got the bar then, which will probably end up being the top floor. It's not too great unless I whack some giant billboard on there with a few snot bricks. That could be something I could do. Of course, we've got the Friends or Sitcom Tower because we do have the Big Bang Theory apartment right at the top there. You can just see through the windows. And I do like the windows there. I could add some windows on this left side just so we can see more of the couch and the shelf at the back. But I'm very happy with how this is, especially the detail on the Friends flats, which all three of these are built from the two Friends sets. You've got the Friends apartment sets, which have been modularized on top, and then the central perk calf on the bottom. And they are available on Rebrickable if you are interested. They are, I think I can confidently say they're my most popular Rebrickable models because, well, they're just so much fun to build and it enables you to build these three sets, which originally I had stacked in half of this city's space. That was one thing I had to do when I started building this city. Get rid of the friend sets or at least shrink them down. And I shrunk them to nearly probably just under a quarter of the original space they took up. So they're great sets, but I do prefer them in this scale. Gave me a lot of extra bricks that I could use and they just look great. I think that is definitely my favorite tower. It comes close between that and Lego. But for the other tower, of course, we've got so many other Lego themes that I haven't included in my city yet. So we've, of course, got the Lego movie sets. I've got quite a few minifigures from that. That could be an interesting floor. We also have Dreams. We have Monkey Kid next to Dreams, which these are my only Dream... Well, no, I guess I've got a few other Dream minifigures, but this is my only Monkey Kid figure, so I definitely have to pick up another set when I do that floor. And then we've got City and Friends. I'm not sure if I should do anything, I guess. We've got like the subway there, which sort of ties into City. And we've got the Lego store. I guess that's mostly City because I don't really have too many Friends figures or from other themes to include in there. And I've included a few Disney CMFs and other licensed figures in there over time. But we've also got the aquarium, the pet store. They're all City themes using City animals. So perhaps I can remove city and these are the next four buildings that will make up the final tower of course i still don't know how to top off the superfood because we've got the hishi bar which is the white floor then we've got the dark red which is the deadpool pub from also villains bar which is another how it should have ended reference we have the avengers shawarma restaurant and we still need one more perhaps i could do the diner that hulk gets spotted in and ask for a photo but I think that's just too niche of a reference to include. Let me know what other food superhero related floors I can build for the Super Food Tower, as it's now been dubbed. 
and let me know which you'd like to see first from the Lego's own theme. I'll tell you what I could include instead of one of these. Ninjago would be a great build a little dojo at the top of one of the floors. A training dojo for Ninjago is also on the list. So out of these six different floors, let me know which one you'd like to see most in the comments below. And I'll definitely consider doing that one first. But I feel like I haven't really spoke much about the road. We've got this cross in here, which I'm really fond of how I did the traffic lights. We've got the little green and red man there telling you when to go and not. It's a green light for the cars at the minute. So it is a red light for anyone trying to cross. Of course, we've still got a few of the other references like the Jurassic Park Jeep there in the center of your screen. And Wolverine's got a little bike upgrade. I really love the bathtub bike. Perhaps if I ever have to get rid of it or move it, I might turn it into a bath, but I just like it too much. And especially the style of bike where the wheel just Keep spinning forever. Again, I have a short which pretty much had to fast forward how long that wheel would spin for because it just kept going and going. And we do have one of the new Lego City space sets. In fact, a Lego City space poly bag that I've turned into a vehicle. So the city's really coming together. It does mean I've got to work on the pavement again. And of course, this whole right side will change. So Rather than it being rocky terrain with the waterfall, I think it makes sense if I line both of them up to be city structures and build a nice little city design on the right hand side. Keep the tunnel there, but just add some buildings on top. Perhaps you can even add a shopping center on top of the tunnel, which is very common here in the UK. So let me know what you think of the city down in the comments again. I really do value your input for the next hours and perhaps we can have some comment suggestions here for the other buildings too. So let me know what you'd like to see in the city. I will read every single comment as long as there's not thousands of them for this one video. But I'm interested to see what you have to say. Definitely let me know what Lego themes you'd like me to see bring into the city. And also give your opinion on the new road layout. It's a big change for the city but I think the backdrop's gonna look that much more better than it did before. And I've also added this nice curve, which I've gone through a few different curve designs and decided that this one was the best. I might build some banisters in a more rounded formation just to get the round of the corner, but Lego's not too round and this is definitely the best one that I could come up with. So thank you so much for watching this entire video. And once again, Sorry for any shakiness or blurriness you saw throughout because my hands really aren't the best when it comes to recording freehand. But thank you for all your support. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. May the bricks be with you always.